so we need the pilot. Each is trapped, so that's in the shop. Okay, is my trap good? Nope, need this one. So, my trap. You must see it. Okay. Finally, we need her trap. What is going on, guys? So, if you're wondering what I'm doing running around to all the vehicles, um, I don't know how it happened, but for some reason, we got four, four of our vehicles that go out in the same month. The tags go out in the same month. So, I got to get the tags and stuff for all four of those vehicles at one time which that's the downside to having so many cars sometimes it, it'll it'll line up like that i try to put at least like a two month gap between my vehicles but sometimes they just seem to fall on the same month so um this is just one of them instances all right guys so here we have the box which i apologize it's covered in dust but uh, i've been holding on to these for about a month now i was trying to wait till after h day i was gonna get this car ready and everything but since i have time now there's no better time like the present so let's get these babies unboxed and uh, see what's inside here oh boy good old ebay coils so you got the spanner wrenches and um, I do want to say that I saw in Young Status video he did the other day that he was saying it's two of the same spanner wrenches and my guess would be it's because they don't want you messing with the preload. So like for a newbie guy, um, it'll kind of keep them from spinning the bigger one and keep them from actually messing up the preload. That's, that's my guess. Cause I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just give you two of the same um, for no reason. I think I think it's got something to do with um, they don't want people messing with the actual preload of it. But yeah, that's just my two cents. But yeah, we got a couple cards with the info. And uh, yeah, let's do a do a front one here since we're working on the front first. Let's see if we can get this baby unboxed without. Hurting ourselves here. So here we have the coilover, and yeah, it looks pretty much as to what I would expect from it. Um, again, this is not my first rodeo, but if you're looking into these coilovers and you're doing your research, um, yeah, it's pretty much the basic standard for um, a good ride height, a good ride, and you know, um, just being budget friendly overall. Like I've, I've yet to have any issues out of these. Now, a lot of people say certain ones, like I want to say the ones for the CRV, um, and it's a couple more they were talking about. I, I see it all the time on the Facebook pages, but they say that the, um, the actual like where it mounts down here broke off and like I don't know they say it broke completely off I, I've yet to have that experience I may end up putting a set on my CRV we'll see but uh, I don't want to drop that I want to lift the CRV but if these will help me raise it I may end up getting a set for that as well but yeah it's just pretty decent you know uh, put together coil over a lot better than those uh, ones where you get off ebay with the little sleeve that goes over your stock strip because as long as they're a whole one piece you won't have any issues out of it so basically all you got to do is pull your wheel off i've already jacked the car up okay guys so hopefully you can see pretty decently um 
pretty much there's just two boats down here that you gotta worry about. It's one up top at the top of this fork, which is a 14 mil. And then at the bottom of the fork, there's a 17 mil. And um, that'll release your fork and you should be able to slide it down and out of your way. Once you've got those two out, you should be able to wiggle this fork down so you can get it out of your way. Now, on this car, this is stock suspension, so it's going to be a little more tough. You might have to pry down on this some to get it to, um, you know, loosen up and get out of the way. But it's it's always easier when you already got aftermarket suspension. The stock suspension is just so long this way. It's just it makes it a pain in the ass to work it out. But um, once you ever get rid of the stock, you won't have to worry about that anymore. The uh, other stuff will be easy. This brake is hot. This brake is hot, guys. But yeah, just gotta wiggle it out of your way. Like so. And it can just, you don't have to take it all the way out, just as long as you get it out of the way of this part here, because this part's gotta come out. So once you've got those things done at the bottom and you got that fork out of the way, up top here, there's gonna be, on this, on the cords, is three bolts. And so, I know a lot of people on YouTube are doing Civic stuff, but on the cords, there are three on, on Civic. Um, well, the 95, there's only two, but on the cords, there's three, so you have to undo these three bolts. They're also gonna be 14 mil. Come back down to the bottom and we should be able to wiggle it right on out. Just like that. So there's your old unit. It's big, it's bulky. It's got probably 300,000 miles on it. So um, definitely time for upgrade. It's not leaking though. Well, it is a little wet at the bottom there. So yes, yeah, definitely a good time to go on and get rid of it. I mean, what is that though? Like fucking... Cause those hands and lights can't stop me I just hold on for dear life now I can resume this video guys I've been messing with these rears for a minute hopefully you don't have this type of issue but it is pretty common with um, the 90 to 97 Accords depending on where you get them from if they've been in a lot of salt or like they got a lot of rust them these bushings at the bottom will seize up and i had a scare man you can see that one's cracked all the crap but um i had a scare i, I thought that thing was seized up i was about to say man i might be screwed for today but I, when i realized that i went ahead and i did this side as well and then I soaked the bolts in PB Blaster and I'm gonna use like some type of grease to put it back because that is that is not what you want. You definitely don't want that stuff to be um, seasoned up on you. But anyway, continuing this install video. For the rear, it's pretty simple for the most part. Aside from that little challenge, you got the one bolt at the bottom and then you have two bolts inside the car right behind this little 
shoulder piece here. So what you gotta do is you gotta get back here and it's it's like a long, like, uh, I don't know, I guess clip, but it's metal. It's like a metal clip and it's like this long. So you gotta get back here and just, I prize it up and you can pop it straight up and I'll just bend it back out of the way so that I can get to it. So got this pull back. There's that metal clip thing that I was telling you about and it just hooks right into that little hole there. So you gotta kinda try to pick this up high enough to get it to slip out. And don't worry too much about damaging this stuff because it's kind of like just styrofoam looking with a little bit of plastic. And so it's pretty flexible. So you should be able to move it out of your way, no problem. But yeah, once you've got it out your way, you'll see there's one bolt. And then on this side, you have to take out all of this plastic trim, which is laying back there. And that'll allow you to fold this back and you can see the other boat. There's only two boats to hold the rig. So once you pop those two boats out and you've got that third boat out at the bottom, the whole suspension will just fall right out of the car. Here are the rears side by side. We're gonna get these rears put on, um, do some adjusting, and uh, I guess I'll show y'all the finished product once I get everything sorted out. There she is. I think I pretty much dialed it in. This front may be a tad bit still higher than the rear, but man, it's looking a lot better, man. We got that, we got that thing pretty much dialed in. Excuse the corner light. Remember, we lost that earlier too when we lost that GoPro, so um, had to get another one of those. But yeah, car is looking a lot better. When I went and got the new bolts for the rear, I went ahead and maxed out the rears. So we got some pretty awesome fitment now in the back. And um, yeah, pretty much all that's left is for us to do a little test drive, but it's now dark outside. So I'm gonna just continue this video and do a little test drive tomorrow and uh, be able to wrap it up so I can go ahead and get painting on this. Okay, boys, so it is now the next day and I don't know how these videos are gonna come out so if you see me wearing the same bright color shirt in the in the paint video that's because I painted the car today and I wanted to wrap up this coilover video today so don't even be commenting saying they got the same shirt on two different days no I got this on in the same day cuz I'm doing two at once so that I can have content for y'all through the week but um yeah so out driving i was looking at the front again today and it does look like it need to go a little bit lower so um i'm gonna get around to it when i get around to it but yeah not gonna be putting any gopros on the outside today definitely not this is everything i could find from the gopro and guess what this this son of a bitch still on like it's still on I mean, you can see it already had like a bunch of overspray. I mean, it's just a first generation hero, but man, I wanted to find that damn SD card. That joker flew out somewhere and I could not find it. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a pull here. See if we got any real bad body room. settings in the rear i don't know if i got those stiff or soft but um yeah once i do that 
We'll be good to go. See, looking outside, it looked almost good. The back still seemed to be a little bit lower, but this side don't look that bad. Aside from the missing corner light. I don't know. It might could use a little bit more drop in the front, but we'll work on it. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Make sure you go check out MaxSpeedAndRides.com and... Get you a set of coilovers or turbo parts or internals, whatever. They sell a lot of Honda stuff, but that's not all they sell for. So, yeah, just check them out. Link will be in the description. And I do have a discount code. I don't know the percentage of how much it takes off, but I know it takes a hefty amount off because I've tried it. So, um, discount code DF Squad at checkout and get that discount. So, yeah, I will catch y'all in the next one. As always, remember, like, share, subscribe, and respect all bills. Peace out.